Hello again, and now in this lecture, you're going to see the engineering activities and how we are going to relate it to the different disciplines. But first, we have to do some things in the activity. No, I'm just kidding. The construction, it's finished. I know it took a lot of time, the activity list. So now the construction schedule is finished. You can always minimize this, double click, and it's minimized. So as you see, it's only one, so no need for minimizing, or you can minimize structural, MAB, and you'll get the dates. To get the dates, you can see, we can remove the activity percentage of completion, or we can keep it here. We can just press, uh, we left click, and we move it up to here, and how it's moved. Just take it, and bring it back, or whatever, where you want to move it. Anyhow, it looks better. So when you minimize, you look 14 April, 2 July, 6 Jan, you have a better look how the project goes in. Accordingly, you might decide to move the architectural down and beneath the structural directly, while the MEB would be the last one. You can just move this one up, and that's it. Here's it. So this is how it will look like. You can decide to do such thing okay and now it's clear let's scroll back and open all now because we use the filter remove this filter and here we have each and every activities let's do the engineering wbs so if we press add here it will add activity so we should go to the wbs tab and we need it in the same level of construction, not beneath it, because if we press add here, it will come under the construction, but we don't need this, so we delete it. So under the guard room, we will add, it would be the engineering. <coughs> engineering, you can name this one as inch, if you wish to, and this one, as construction for better uh, organization that's it so in the engineering what do you think should we add as you see here we can add even sub wbs's now it's time we are going to add structural and civil we will combine both structural and we are going to Okay, let's finish the structure first. Instead, I was going to copy it now, but no need. Let's finish the structure first and makes it easier. So in the structure, we will have, again, add a new activity. And the activity we are going to design, for example, it would be GR dash. Here, we should be careful not to use the structure as well. We might use ENG dash ST for structural dash 1000. So here we have an activity ID that you can read automatically that this is a structure engineering. We'll make submission, which is submission, which is preparation and submission. We can name it, which is done by the main contractor as you and submission or by subcontractor by so we will give this 24 days, which is too much by the way, it can be done way less, but we will give this 24 days, 24 working days. And then we are going to give, after the preparation and submission, it would be reviewer by the consultant, review by the consultant. We would give the 12 working days, which is normally the maximum time as bear the contract, which is 14 calendar days, but according to your contract as well. Then you are going to add one more activity, which is resubmit. This activity, it might happen and it might not happen. But whenever it's not happening, you will close it while you're doing the update. But you should add it because you might need it. You might get a code C, for example, and you might need it. Then we will have the last one, approval by the consultant. Approval by the consultant. So, no, well, that's great. Now it's finished. So for sure, in order to make this start, ah, it's a little bit hazy here. We can, by activity ID, sort. Whenever you press, you're going to sort. 
So we are going to sort by the activity ID and we are going to link all finish to start. So we'll press once and link activities and done. L